Assalamu alaikum. Today we're exploring Wadi Lajab and Saifa Mountain here in Saudi Arabia. We can't wait to go on this journey with you today and show you the spectacular scenery. Stay tuned for later in the video when we get into, well, a little bit of trouble near the Yemen border. We weren't really sure how far you could actually drive into the wadi. You can actually drive a few kilometers. It took about seven, eight minutes to drive down to the wadi that divides into two sections. So there's one narrow part going to the left and another wider part going straight ahead. So you can park the car there and go wandering. We weren't really sure how that road was actually going to be, but uh, it was pretty all right to drive on. I would recommend an SUV or four-wheel drive. It was certainly a spectacular entrance driving the car through the initial part of the wadi. First impressions is this is amazing. The cliff are so tall and there's all these little rock pools with water in it and water flowing. It's so gorgeous and it's actually really green and really cool down here too. I thought it was going to be really hot. As you can see, the path is not really a path, it's a bunch of rocks. So let's see how it goes and hopefully we don't get too wet because the water is definitely running all over the path. Yeah, hopefully I don't slip because it could be a bit slippery downstream. There's these beautiful green walls with moss and different ferns. It kind of reminds me of the walls in Labyrinth, if anyone has watched that movie. I did not expect to see this in Saudi Arabia. I'm a little bit scared about walking through here actually because I am known to be a little bit on the clumsy side. So I'm worried about rolling my ankles, but definitely gonna have very wet shoes by the end of the day because it's pretty much a stream. There's not much of a path here. So I'm not really sure how to navigate this exactly. It's a bit of a patch you can walk on down here, so come on. We're trying to sort out how we can get across here without getting wet. Ella tried going across this rock over here. We would have to do a little jump. But yeah, no luck. It's kind of a high jump. And Casper decided to wear jeans and not shorts today, so... Oh. <laughs> so it looks like we're gonna get wet. But anyway, we'll dry. It's just water. Start <laughs> taking the shoes off. You're probably gonna like hurt your Cut toe yourself. on something. This is a bit more water than I was expecting. Oh. We just survived our first obstacle. I have super wet feet. I didn't want to risk cutting my feet on the rocks, so I kept my shoes on. I was not expecting this much water. I've missed hearing the sound of the water running. It is absolutely beautiful. And you can hear all the birds chirping as well. It's really lovely to be out in nature. Really enjoying this walk today. Check out this awesome rock wall behind me. You can just see all the layers, so all the different colors that have built up over the years. It's really spectacular. This scenery is just breathtaking. Just every time we go around the next bend, there's just more beauty to see. It is just really, really gorgeous. I did not expect to see a car down here. It must have been caught in a flash flood and just washed down here. The water is really refreshing, I have to say. I decided to go the water route rather than trying to climb all over these rocks. Felt like it was probably safer for me. Oh my gosh, there's fish in here. I did not expect to see fish in here. Woo. This rock wall up here, which is probably about 150 meters tall, has palms growing on the side. It looks really cool. We live in Jeddah. Jeddah. Yeah, five years. You too? Uh, yes. yes. You too. What? Hi. 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 Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a good oh, photo. No, no, no. It's so good. You. Selfie in Wadi yeah, Lajab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye. Good to meet you. Yeah. Bye. You meet friendly people everywhere in Saudi Arabia. We are not sure where to go from here, either to get wet shoes or climb over some massive rocks. Right, I think it's time to get wet feet and wet shoes. So let's crack on. Okay. I think Kylie just looked like the little mermaid sitting there on the rock. 
She did. That's it. In the water at the moment, just trying to get up these boulders. Definitely getting a little bit of exercise today, that's for sure. I was trying to be fancy with the filming and I almost fell in. So don't be fancy with the filming. <laughs> I think that's the lesson I just learned. Okay, let's see if you can get through here. There's a little hole there. We just found a beautiful flat rock here overlooking the wadi. It's actually really steep and you can see a waterfall and a rock pool. The canyon walls are just absolutely breathtaking and this is a really great spot that we've found here. So we're just relaxing a little bit before we make the journey back to our car. So we have been to quite a few places in Saudi Arabia, but this is definitely a must see if you are visiting Saudi Arabia. It would be such a shame to miss out on this beautiful landscape and beautiful place. One thing that I regret is not bringing my swim clothes because there's so many rock pools that you can swim in here. Some of the rock pools actually surprisingly get very deep, so you can go for a full swim in most of them. cold it looks so inviting and it's so clear and clean and also I'm swimming with fish which is kind of cool so beautiful so we've just come to another wadi it's a lot narrower and you can see from the massive big boulders in front of me there's these huge big rocks blocking the way so you kind of have to walk and weave in and through all the boulders Oh, bit of a tight squeeze. There we go. <laughs> I got through. It's a lot of fun. Really, really beautiful. And they also have some really big trees growing in here as well. It's not often you see trees that size here in Saudi Arabia. This part of the wadi actually reminds me of Australia. I can see some gum trees here and some of the vegetation colors of the rocks and the plants. It all kind of reminds me of Australia. Each and every boulder that we climb over leads to a more and more beautiful view. Every single time we get to a new spot, I'm like, wow, it is certainly an oasis. We've traveled a lot around the world and I'm pretty hard to impress, I have to say, but this is probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. It is really spectacular and you definitely have to visit Wadi Lajab. Okay, so we have concluded that a few hours here is definitely not enough time. It would be amazing to come and camp around here so that you could spend a couple of days exploring the wadis. Casper's helping me up. <laughs> oh my gosh, today has been so amazing. It is hard to imagine that the scenery is gonna get any better than this. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the next place that Casper has planned for us today. We don't wanna leave. It is really, really beautiful, but we're gonna head back to the car now, and then we're heading to... Faifa Mountain. Apparently it should be really green up there, so we are looking forward to that, and also the views from up there. We are back on the road again. We are heading to Faifa Mountain. Thank you so much to our viewers for recommending visiting Wadi Lajab. If you have any other recommendations and places in mind that we should visit next, please drop it down in the comments below. So even though we've been living in Saudi Arabia for over five years, it never gets old seeing camels along the side of the road. So we just made a little stop here on the way up to Pfeiffer Mountain. The views are just absolutely stunning. As you can see in the background, it's just one beautiful mountain after the other. The roads, on the other hand, are a little bit dotty in places and it does get quite steep. There are certainly some curvy roads to get up the mountains. Yet again, we're on another steep, windy road. It seems to be a little bit of a theme of our road trip here in Saudi Arabia. It's actually really crazy that people are living all the way up here. I don't know where they go to get all their groceries and go shopping because going up and down this mountain on these really small roads, I, I just can't imagine doing that on a daily basis. The terraces just look so amazing. It's, we're getting higher and higher. My ears keep popping. They have all these beautiful pastel colored buildings on top of all the hills. It's very picturesque. How are you going, Casper? Yep, concentrating. <laughs> Bumping away. <laughs> Certainly steep. I think the highest point here is around 2,600 meters, I remember reading. Oh! How 
vi så, Kasper? Yep, another bump. <laughs> Okay, so feeling a little freaked out. We've just come down here to see these really amazing watchtowers. But the road that we're going on is very steep, very narrow, very gravelly. And we're just coming up to our third car that didn't make it down here. They're complete nutter wrecks. So it's kind of creeping us out a little bit. <laughs> oh, is that like the fourth car now? Could be. Oh my god. I think we're here now basically. <laughs> I think we're pretty much here. So we just arrived at the watchtowers. We just got all the way down the hill and we were just followed by some Saudi police. They were just letting us know that it is a dangerous area because we are only about 15 kilometers from the Yemen border. So they said not to stay around in this area for too long, take some photos, but then best to head back up the hill. They also mentioned the roads being quite dangerous, so it's best to get back up the hill and out towards the main area before it gets dark so they were just caring about our safety basically which was really nice so I think we're gonna get a police escort back up the hill <laughs> the police in Saudi are always very friendly and very happy to help okay so these roads are so narrow that Casper's actually having a bit of a time trying to turn the car around so that we can actually go back up the mountain yeah, I think he's found a spot now. So hopefully we'll be right and we'll be back on the road soon. Currently getting a police escort up through the mountains and on our way to Jazad. So yeah. Very nice people. <laughs> yeah. They just want to show us the easiest and fastest way out of this kind of zigzaggy road. So very friendly guys. Zigzaggy roads? Zigzaggy Zig roads. <laughs> what? We've had an amazing day exploring Wadi Lajav and Faifa Mountain. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with us today. We are continuing our road trip around Saudi Arabia and currently heading to Jazan. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming adventures. That's it for this video. See you next time on Living, Living the, the Joe Life. Life.